First thing you need to do is open the job um, that you want to produce a floor plan. On the claim home, you'll see add a floor plan. So what you first want to do is hit add a floor plan. We now have a scanning tip screen that gives you best practices um, to help produce the best results for your floor plan. So it's really important to kind of hold your phone at chest height, have it tilted very slightly down, kind of five to 10 degree angle. You wanna walk slow and steady throughout the entire property, walking the perimeters of each room. You don't wanna spin in a circle or walk sideways, crab walking. And lastly, scan the whole property. You don't need to do a separate scan for each room. If it's multi floors in a house, you can do all the floors in a single house. So let's get going, so let's scan. So once you're ready, you can see here how I'm holding the phone. We don't want the phone too low to the ground. Um, you don't want it too high either. You kind of just want it just right where we're walking with it slightly pointed down in an angle. When you're ready to scan, hit start. Now just start walking the property. So here you can see I'm walking into the room. I'm gonna walk, so even with all this stuff in the room, we're gonna be able to detect um, the dimensions of each room. What's key is as much as possible, trying to be able to get into the corners and see where all the corners are in the house. I'm gonna keep walking. What I've done here beforehand was um, I prepped the entire um, space that I want to walk, which prepping means if you can clean up. I know in a lot of disasters, it's extremely hard to do that. But one of the critical things is lighting. So turn on all the lights. If you don't have a light, that's okay. You can attach an external light, like a Lumi cube to your phone um, to light the way. You see every once in a while that you'll get error messages that pop up like this, for instance, I'm really close to my hot water tank for a little bit of time. It's okay. You don't want to be too close all the time, particularly around walls because we don't get enough objects and date details of information when we do it. So you can quickly step away and just continue your scan and the message will go away. Sometimes you have windows that are higher up, so it's okay to pan up slightly to capture those windows to make sure they come in as part of your floor plan. Now with this room, it's really tempting because it's very open for me to just stand in the middle of the room and just start spinning and do a scan, but that is not helpful. And sometimes you'll get a warning that says you're turning too fast. What's really important is that you walk the entire perimeter of the room as much as possible. Now I'm finished the whole basement. Now we can go upstairs and we'll automatically break out the floor plan into separate floors. This is a bigger window, so I'm gonna scan up and make sure I capture everything. Or bigger door, sorry. Go up here. Now go into the kitchen, continue to walk. As you can see, I'm walking at a very steady pace throughout the entire property, even up the stairs. We don't need to rush it. Take your time, um, you know, even if it takes an extra few minutes um, to walk at a slower pace, it's worthwhile to get the details. Now what's important here is I kind of have a decision point where I can go right into the dining room to start capturing, but I really wanna walk the whole space, including, you know, kind of keep your right shoulder next to the wall as much as possible. So I'm actually gonna go in because I know I can go into the dining room. I'm just gonna walk straight and make sure I capture um, that side wall there in the kitchen. Oh, I didn't have the light turned on. So what I can do is if I step away, keep the room out of view, reach in and turn the light, it'll be easier that way. I've prepared the room and I've opened every single door, but what happens if there's a door that isn't open? So I'll show you. I kind of close that door. If I back up, and I want to go into this room here, but the door is closed. It's extremely important not to open the door such that the video captures it. So you want to walk past the door, kind of open it up, 
turn the light on, and then you can go into that room. Next thing I want to show you is what happens when you have a really tight confined space. So I happen to have a walk-in closet that's really full. So what you want to do is walk into the space and then walk out backwards. You don't want to spin around when you're too close or too cramped in here. So I walk in and I'll walk out. And I'm going to the last room, which is our bathroom. You can see there I turn fast. So you just want to slow it down. We give you these prompt and warnings in your in your video to help you make sure that you take the best possible floor plan scan. When you're finished, you just hit stop. Confirm that you're finished your scan. We'll do a bit of processing. Then we're going to take you to a review screen. So here is where you can kind of review your entire floor plan. You can kind of track the um, video button at the bottom, move it. And you can see down here, you, the red marks along the time bar, those are kind of the warnings that you saw throughout your uh, scan. And if you look at the top of the screen, it tells you which warning you had in that particular moment. Um, if you see a lot of red that covers, you know, the, you know, a fair amount of the time bar, we would recommend you rescan because it means you probably had too many errors for us to collect proper data. If you have a bunch like I did, um, but not enough to really cause concern, like to being too close often, that's okay. Simply hit submit. There we go. Oh, let me go there. Um, and then you'll return to the floor plan screen. So the first thing that we do is upload it. If you have good connectivity, whether that's Wi-Fi or the cellular network, we highly recommend you let the video upload completely um, before closing your app. Uh, if you don't have Wi-Fi connectivity, that's okay. It works fine in offline mode. The video just won't start processing until you're back online and we're able to sync with the end circle service. So once that's synced, you'll get a notification in the app that says, hey, we're processing. And then within six hours, there you go. Uh, and what we're seeing on average is between 90 minutes to, to two hours turnaround time on our videos, you'll receive your floor plan. And that's how you take floor plan. So thank you very much and have a great day.